Hi, I'm Peggy Whitson. I'm an astronaut at the Johnson Space Center. I have been in space for 665 days total. Uh, the first mission was just over six months, the second mission just over six months, and the third was nine and a half months. So in high school, I was really interested in biology, and so when I went to college, I uh, started majoring in biology, but I had to take a lot of chemistry courses along the way, decided that was pretty cool, so I ended up double majoring in biology and chemistry, and then later uh, went to graduate school in biochemistry, because that was kind of the perfect combination of those things that I really enjoyed doing. My heroes, probably, you know, Neil Armstrong for walking on the moon first was definitely a hero. Um, and I really looked up to all that, that first group of female astronauts that were selected, in particular, Shannon Lucid, because she was a biochemist, but also Ellen Baker, uh, a, a medical doctor, and Ray Sednell, another medical doctor. The, you know, this, these were just very inspirational to me because it happened at a time when I took a dream and made it into a goal. Communicating well is important, I think, in pretty much any job, and actually just in life. Being able to communicate with your family and friends uh, effectively is extremely important. You have to be able to be honest with yourself and be clear and considerate in your conversations with people, how you would like them to treat you, but honest, so that we're not faking it with anybody and we can actually effectively communicate. All of us experience failure, and I think you shouldn't be discouraged by it. Uh, you know, whether it's in a class that you didn't get the grade that you thought you should have or that you wanted, uh, you just have to keep trying. You have to keep going on. You learn from the experience, though. Take it, you know, don't blame it on somebody else. Take the failure in, understand it, and try and make the next step even better because you learned from that previous experience. Uh, the great thing about failures is learning from them. So make sure you don't lose that advantage of not doing something exactly right. So my advice to young people is uh, number one, find your passion. Find what it is that you really care about, what that inspires you, what motivates you, excites you. Find that passion. And then number two, work to make it happen. It's not going to just, you know, miraculously appear unless you're extremely lucky and that's very rare. So you need to work to make that a reality. So whatever that passion is that you find. And if you don't find it right away, keep looking, keep searching, find those, that thing that drives you and that motivates you and search out different ideas and venues that you might not have considered. Again, challenge yourself to do more than you think you might be able to because you can e live even better than you might dream of.